Cannabis Family, Tinsley Stearns here. And today we are joined by Ben and Ryan to talk about everybody's favorite thing ever, compliance learning. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Yeah. So Ben, maybe we'll start with you. I know we joke about no one enjoying doing compliance training, but can you talk a little bit about some of the reasons and the why behind why we commit to it? Yeah, sure. I, there are a couple of good reasons. So uh, I guess one of the first reasons is just that there are some trainings that we have to do. The law says, hey, you have to do this annual training, right? So that's the first reason. That's kind of the easy one to check the box on. Um, BSA training is the one that really comes to mind that um, that is an absolute requirement and the examiners and our auditors look at that and say hey did you do BSA training this year and that's across the board for every employee. Uh, another good reason for compliance training is that um, it, it shows that we're committed to following the law to doing the right thing so if ever you know heaven forbid heaven forbid that we're sued uh, we can show hey look we've made these really good faith efforts to train our employees and do the right thing. We've tried um, giving the resources to employees so that they can make good decisions. So that's the other really good reason to do annual compliance training. Awesome. And Ben, talk to us about some of the different compliance trainings that are in front of people. You mentioned BSA, what else is there? BSA, so I know that there's also security awareness training uh, so that it's protecting uh, the, the, the Canvas family members from falling victim to phishing attempts and that sort of thing. Uh, we have sexual harassment training uh, in there, privacy training. Um, I think there's a HIPAA training in there uh, and a, a few others that I might be missing. Ryan could probably- This is impressive off the top of your head. There's others. I think, there's like, like, I think that up. covers- Yeah. Listen, it's easier it's to so remember on, things so that on, I so much. <laughs> So Ryan, I know we've worked really hard. As painful as these can be, we've been trying to make them more interactive, more engaging. Can you talk a little bit about some of our efforts there? Yeah, for sure. So um, if you all haven't noticed, you're logging into a different system. So that would be the first big change is we're finally in the Alti Pro learning management system, um, which is kind of the framework that all the courses are sitting in. And that really allows um, on the back end for us to be a lot more efficient. And so all the courses are assigned by role. And um, if you haven't been a part of any of our audits, we get asked a lot about, hey, who's taking what and where? And this just really um, assures that we're doing that in an efficient manner and that we don't miss anyone in that assignment stage. The other part of it is uh, you'll notice that the courses are a little more modern than what they've been before. And so we made a move over to a company called Encourse, who's actually providing a lot of the um, content that you're seeing there. Uh, and so hopefully it's, it's a little bit more engaging as well. Um, the one thing I would wanna add is if it feels like this is a big year and like, wow, I have a lot of uh, test to, or I have a lot of tests to take or I have a lot of training to take, it's because it is. Um, this is actually kind of the beginning of a 24 month cycle. So. Um, a lot of the courses that you're taking or, or some of the courses that you're taking, you won't have to actually take next year. They're alternating. And so that's one of the reasons. In addition, um, we, are, we, we made the decision to include more comprehensive training in some areas. And then next year, there will be refreshers. So uh, our commitment is that you know, we get everybody kind of caught up this year. Um, it would be a big comprehensive uh, training cycle. And then next year should feel uh, lighter. Awesome. Very cool. And so have you both finished your training? Yes. <laughs> hey, you know what? Nine days, I can get a lot done. It's going to happen. I got it all tracked out. Nice. I have to admit, Tansley, I took a lot of the training courses this morning kind of frantically because I was like, I can't be on We Are Canvas and tell people to finish their compliance training if I myself haven't done it. So I was going to be too you know, hypocritical. Um, so I did most of it this morning. I still have a couple of modules I need to wrap up this afternoon. So I'm not quite there, but almost. Awesome. And what's our deadline, friends? Uh, October, 1st. October 1st, yeah. All right. We're, we're running right towards that. <laughs> awesome. Well, we've talked about all the serious things. Are you guys up for some trivia? I'm only here for trivia. Like that's, all right. Yeah. Awesome. Who wants to go first? Rock, paper, scissors? Ben. 
I, I, I feel like Ryan is the reigning champion. He does so well on these every week, it seems. <laughs> no. Ben, go. All right, okay. Ben. It's Thank all you. you. Okay. Let's start with this one. Whose two best friends are Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger? Harry Potter. Yes. Very nice. good. All right. What is the square root of 36? Six. Yes. All right, one more, and you got all three. Ooh, the pressure. All right, what was Excalibur and the legend of King Arthur? The sword. Yeah, you did it. Hey. All right. That was, that was, that was like a burden off my shoulders here. <laughs> it's harder to do trivia on video. Oh, yeah. Just It is. In case anybody's yes. wondering. Versus Ooh, like yeah. having a picture of beer and a bunch of people yelling yeah. at a bar. Anyways. I think that's true. All right, Ryan, you ready? Uh, yeah, I think. Okay. How many bones are in the human body? Oh, 216. Oh, wow. That was really close. Ben, you want to try and guess? Uh, I'll take 117, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> 206. Oh. Yeah. All right. That's a really, that's a lot tougher than the other ones, but go ahead. We'll confess <laughs> later. If this was Price is Right, I would have got it, right? <laughs> yeah, you can't go over. <laughs> All right. The 19th century goldsmith Fabergé is best known for creating what type of object? Egg. Yeah, Easter eggs. <laughs> Very good. All right. And last one. What is the difference between a biography and a memoir? One is written by someone else. And a yeah, memoir would be like notes of, what's that? Which one now? Oh, I'm sorry. The, bi the biography is written by somebody else, whereas a memoir is like somebody's actual notes, that they like an autobiography. That's right. Yes. Well done. Nice. Ben wins, though. The bones. <laughs> really? Like, come on, man. <laughs> that was a hard one. That's like a precise no number, idea. too. Like, could I have had, like, it begins with, you know, well, whatever. Yeah. Ben, congratulations, buddy. <laughs> well played. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you all for helping Canvas stay in compliance. That's really, really important to us yes. to continue to create impact with our members. So thank you both. Yeah, thanks so much. And thank you for joining us. And we'll be back again next week as we continue to enjoy being Canvas.